Welcome back to UICflames.com. We're here with Sean McDermott and Curtis Granderson, uh, UIC Baseball. Coach, we'll start with you. Uh, with the start of the season less than a week away, what has been your focus offensively with this team uh, in the offseason? Um, you know, every offseason we have to focus on the mechanical issues of the individual player, uh, but primarily we've been trying to focus on situational offense, and we're an offensive team, and we play offense. We, we're, we've got to know how to bunt, hit and run, and um, that's really been our primary focus, is making sure we're going to play UIC team offense. And Curtis, you had uh, obviously no shortage of uh, teams to go to the college after high school. So why did you choose UIC? I think the first reason was when I took my recruiting trip here, I saw the coaches actually in the practice, not just standing on the side, instructing and telling everybody where to go. When you see the head coach in full catcher's gear, that means he's definitely involved and want to see the program excel to the point where they need to be. So that was the big thing. Uh, I was in the city. It was close to home. I was going to get an opportunity to play. My parents were getting an opportunity to see me, and just everything kind of meshed together. Now, Sean, you've been at USC almost 15 years. How has your philosophy evolved during that time as a position coach, what it is today? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing, I think early on when we got here, I was a checklist guy, and I make sure I go through all the checklists, and I was uh, more teaching oriented. Uh, and I think uh, as time's gone on, I, I think I've become more of a learning-oriented coach. I want the players to learn more than me proving that I can teach. It's really more about the development of the players and making sure that they're prepared and understand it rather than me having all my checklists checked off. And Curtis, you had an unbelievable college career, no doubt. Uh, what are some of the key lessons you learned while at UIC? I think the big thing first, educationally wise, time management skills, discipline, doing everything I need to in the classroom so I could be on the baseball field when we needed to play games, be able to be at practice. I think from the baseball side of it, learning how to understand my individual self, and that's what Sean McDermott and Coach Mike D were able to do, especially with the group that we had. We had a bunch of incoming new talent coming to the school that knew how to play, but didn't know how to get themselves ready to play. And like he said, he gave us the instruction to allow us to figure things out ourselves, and two, three years in, we were able to do that. Hey Coach McDermott, it's been an unseasonably warm winter here in Chicago. Uh, how has the improved access to the field uh, benefited preparations for the season? You know, I think the biggest thing that it's allowed us to do is make corrections before we play. So many times, the first time we get to see our guys react to game situations is after the first weekend, after our first game. So a lot of the errors that we make early on in the season are being corrected now prior to us playing rather than the first weekend, things are going wrong. We don't have time to fix them. And now we can move on. We're playing forward rather than playing catch up already this season. And we're excited about that opportunity. It's been a great, great winter for us. And finally, Curtis, you're a professional athlete now. You still come back to UIC. Why? Top notch facilities across the board. The weight room over in the Flames Athletic Center, hands down, has everything I need to at all the top facilities throughout the country baseball facility I can get my hitting in I can get my throwing in the weather like you mentioned has been great so as long as I'm tough enough to go out in the 50 degree weather I can go out there and have full access to get full practice like I did before going to Taiwan with these guys running conditioning see everything ready like I'm going to in spring training and it's all right in my backyard and where everything started for me so this is why I come back year in and year out all right coach McDermott Curtis Granderson we appreciate your time thank you, thank you.